Hello and welcome back to another Rolly's Wheels. Today uh, we're going to be looking at a replacement of the interior clock on the Jaguar XJ308. In one of my last videos I mentioned that the clock itself wasn't working whilst the car was stationary. And usually uh, it would work when the car was moving but not when it was stationary. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clock out from behind the walnut dash, uh, take a little look at it um, and then if it's not really going to work properly or if I take a look at it and I feel it's not worth repairing then I'm going to replace it with another one. Now I've actually found out that you might be able to replace the XJ308 clock, analogue clock, with the 350 Jaguar XJ350 clock um, and this is the Jaguar XJ350. Uh, you can see the difference between that and here is a spare XJ308. So you can see there's a little bit more detail on the Chrome Bat 350 version. Um, I should hold it the right way around would help. Um, so yeah, so they both look the same, um, the back and the fronts and so on. So I'm expecting, you know, who I don't know. I'm expecting a straight interchange really. So I think we'll just have a little go at this and see how we get on. So to get to remove the clock, uh, you can see the analog clock here, and we've got to remove this uh, walnut surround. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And there are clips behind here, and here, and here, and here. So it should just lift out with a little bit of luck. So I've got um, a lifter here, so I should be able to just start to pry it out. And I'll do under this one as well with a little bit of help you should it should just come on clip and it does so i'm just going to put that upside down oh just to show you anyway um where the locators are you can see what sort of clips they are that um sit behind the dash um, and those actually fit into those tongues actually fit into these that log there and there's one here and there's another one here just there, you can see them there as well. So the next thing we're gonna do, in order to be able to get this surround out, it's slightly tucked behind the passenger airbag uh, front. And also I've got to try and ply this one as, uh, away as well, because it gives me more maneuverability to be able to slide this out. So what I'll do, I'll tackle this next bit and take the four screws. There are, there are a couple of screws here. Uh, there's one here and there's another one just under here and the same over here actually there's, there's one in here and there's one there as well and these are phillips heads so that's quite straightforward okay so here we have it now again on this other side there's a little tongue which sits in behind that uh, section of the um airbag now incidentally i've disconnected the battery so before you tackle this job disconnect the battery because you don't want in case you do something you don't want the airbag going off but when i come to put this back i've just got to make sure that this um lug here that pin fits in behind rather behind the um, um walnut fascia so here we go okay so now there's a connection to the back of the clock so i'm going to disconnect that now right so i've actually lifted this clip and on the back you'll see those two there and you actually lift those black bits up and that one up and then at the same time you just push your finger to push the clock through it just then unclips so now i'll just to slowly prise this out a tight fit really just one hand i'll have to do it with two hands i'm afraid okay let's see whether we can do this Right, so now we've got the clock from the back of the, the vent unit now. So I'll just put the, the vent unit down very carefully. And now take a little look at this. Forgive me for the shakiness here, but anyway, so we've got the clock here and we can see the connections on the back and there's a little um, tongue to be able to just squeeze. And then I'll be able to disconnect that. You can see that little black tongue there and focus in on it a bit more. And I'm just going to see if that's going to come away now with my hand. I don't want to. Oh, we have to do this with uh, two hands again. I'm sorry. 
Okay, so I managed to pinch that tight and then you just literally pull that out from there and that's it. So this now is the, the old one um, and the way that is at the moment, it doesn't really look that, uh, you can't get into it anyway. Well, you can get into it if you really wanted to. There are little side lugs here, you can prise open and get into it. But I think what I'll probably do today is I'm going to see whether this one fits in here. They both look the same to me, both look the same sort of fitting. So, hey, we'll give it a go and see, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to connect this connector back into the into the back of here. The connector should be the same fitting. So I'm going to tell you now whether they are or whether they're not. If they are, fantastic. Yep, I'm pleased to say the connector fitted in a treat. I've clicked it in and it's good and tight. So I'm going to fit all this back together again in the reverse to how I pulled it apart. So I actually, in the end, had to take this off completely so that I can move the, the whole vent across to the left a bit more. But I found that when I came to put this back in again, it's better if you sort of angle it out this way and then you put the, the tongue in here first. So you slide it in and then you bring your vent round and push it into place. So I'm now fixing the screws back in again here. And the final stage will be to put the clip in the veneers again back where they were. So this is how it looks when the lights are on and you've got the internal illuminations on the clock. So yeah, just like the Jaguar XJ350, um, it's a nice sort of greeny tint, but it does look good. So I hope you all like it as much as I do. So thank you for watching once again, and I hope this has been quite useful to people who have problems with their, their analog clocks. Um, I think it's not a popular thing, but um, it has happened to me. So I thought, well, um, when I come to replace it, it's quite useful for everyone else to know how you can do it. Um, so I'm quite happy with the job. It looks good. Uh, it's updated a little bit as well. So, um, yeah, so everything is back um, as it was looking good. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you all again for watching. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you very much.